Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and gas time once again. Um, and once again, um, I, I recently been kind of remiss in saying this, but yes, there's, or I've been kind of remiss in saying this recently, but, um, yes, there's gonna be a bunch of moving parts on this. Um, not as intricate as some of my other cast videos, but still enough for me to say that, to put out the warning that, yeah, don't, don't be surprised if I make a few mistakes here and there, so. But anyway, um, this is going to be <clears throat> driving in University Avenue in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Um, and throughout, I mean, throughout my life in Minnesota, I, I've probably driven up and down University Avenue before, but I couldn't give you any exact dates or times or anything. I just picked this because it looked kind of familiar, so... Okay, so to start with, um, like I usually do, just like, um, just start off with a pinball stream, and this time around, it went great. Yeah, it just, I mean, Epic, I mean, everything pretty much fell into place. FX3, I went better than yesterday, but, uh, it's still, I've, I've done better. Um, the tourneys were a little better. I think um, I took first place in like one, maybe two of them. Um, all the rest, I was probably average. I think there was probably uh, there was probably one, maybe two of them, two tourneys where I did like dead last or if not close to it, like tournaments where I shouldn't have bothered, or I bit off more than I can chew. So, but I mean, I guess. I guess it should also be mentioned too, when it comes to, when it comes to me doing tournaments, I only pick the ones that look doable. Like if it looks like, if it looks like I could beat a particular score, I'll go for it. So I mean, it's it's not like I, it's not like I pick every single tournament out there or every single one that I see. It's I only pick the ones that I think that mm, I, with scores that are. Boy, I'm just all kinds of messing up. Anyway, I only pick the ones that have scores that look beatable. That I don't, you know, because some of them scores, and I've said this about FX3, that game needs a replay feature. You know, it's either that or I either gotta call bullshit on some of the scores, or or I gotta I gotta cry hacks. It's like they're using they're using hacks, cheats, trainers, or whatever for these obscenely super high scores. You know, so I mean, those kind of scores, I don't even bother with them. So, oh, and um, it, it should also be mentioned too, I sometimes mention this on FX3 as well, but it isn't, when I say I want to see a replay feature on FX3, it, it just, it isn't really, it isn't always because I want to see how skilled they are, how good they are. Or I want to see all these trick shots they're making. It could also be I want to see how patient these people are too. Cause some of the tables on FX3, you don't you don't you don't have to complete the wizard mode in order to get a huge score. You know sometimes it's it's making these certain ramps that leads to a hurry up and then collecting that hurry up to get big points and then rinse and repeat. I know fish tails is one of those tables. Yeah. You don't you don't have to you don't have to beat the wizard mode in order to get a huge score. Um I think Whitewater, another table, I think it kind of falls in that category as well. Um you can get a Oh, how did it go? You, you can get the uh I I believe it's in this order. You get the five the five times play field, like everything in the play field scores five times normal value. Start that, and then as quickly as possible, start multi-ball. Then start hitting that upper ramp on the table, which scores the jackpot, which will now be five times that jackpot. And you just keep, you keep getting as huge a score as you can doing that. So like I said, 
like I said, some of these tables, you don't have to complete a wizard mode to in order to get a huge score. Um, so, what I'm getting at is, is it isn't always, I want to see how great you are, or I want to see what a real sharp shooting, or sharp shooting sniper you are. It's, I want to see how patient you are. To, to sit there and make make the same shots over and over and over and over and over and over again to to see how you rack up this obscenely high score. So So I guess I know the short version of it, why I want to why I want to replay feature in FX3 is I want to see how you do it. You know, again, otherwise I'm going to have to call BS on the score. Or I'm going to have to Cry. I'm gonna have to cry, hack or cheat or trainer or something. But I'm uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea here. So, but anyway, uh, pinball arcade though. That pinball arcade, I freaking kicked ass. A total, complete opposite from yesterday. Whereas yesterday, I only lasted maybe five, ten minutes. Said fuck this shit. Went over to Zachariah. Not this time. I was up now. I didn't beat any high scores. I didn't. I didn't get into the top five in any of the tables I played. But I played well enough to where I lasted a full hour. And on top of that, I only played I think three tables. I think um, cue ball wizard, white water, and fish tails. Just three tables, and I lasted an hour. So you want to average it out? That's about 20 minutes on each table. So that's pretty damn good. But like I said, not good enough to break into the top five or anything. But still, you know, good enough to have lasted that long. Plus, it should also be mentioned, too, that uh, I've been playing Pinball Arcade for um, at least five years. So you can only imagine the kind of high scores that I've racked up on all them tables. So, yeah, they're, my high scores are pretty tough to beat. So there's there's that as well, and then there's also the fact that I actually got some good sleep this morning. Again, a stark contrast to yesterday, whereas um, I think I laid down around 4:30 a.m. Um, I think I woke up around 11 a.m. Looked up, eh, I'll go ahead and lay down here for another hour or so, and which I did. Um, this time around, and then did that, and then. A few minutes later, beep, 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 beep. The old alarm went off, and up I went. So, so getting plenty of sleep always helps. As well as having a bunch of people checking out my stream, that always helps. So, you know, it wasn't like um. Now, usually, usually I get a fair amount of people checking out my stream. Um, on average, probably around, I'd say. If I had a venture, I guess, around five people at a time. So, you know, so something like that. I mean, it's, it's still, you know, it still motivates me to play somewhat. But, I mean, when you have as many as 13 people at once checking out my stream, yeah, that'll light a fire under your ass. So, yeah, you know, being real focused doing the best you can, you know, trying to, you know, having the energy to talk out loud more often, calling out the shots I'm trying to make, trying to, you know, trying to tell them, you know, trying to tell my viewers what I'm aiming for, what I'm doing, and when prat and when possible, why. And, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rant on this. I've said this before on other casts, but, you know, for those that don't know, these green crosswalk thingies, those are bike lanes, it, which is, to me, totally pointless. In fact, it's actually more dangerous because, I mean, look where they're positioned. Right out here towards the center of an intersection. At least the, the white lines for the pedestrians, they're farther away from the middle of an intersection. It looks like, um, it looks like these bike lanes were added on just because people kept complaining about them. So, I mean, me personally, I, if, 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 I was, um, if I was demanding more bike paths, 
more bike, you know, bike friendly this and that, and they and I saw they did this, I'd be pissed. Because, again, it's these are these are more towards the center of the intersection. You know where the cars are more likely to be. So yeah, so this is actually more dangerous. So yeah, I'd have been pissed. I mean, I, I get I get they're trying, but you know, I for, for this year, I'd have just as soon as I'm not done anything at all. You know, because up until recently, there was nothing wrong with these, with the white stripes. You know, you could have just walked your bike right along with the rest of the pedestrians, no big deal. But now with these green ones here, it's like you're more out in the middle. You're more in the line of fire. So. And, um, and on some of these other videos that I've done, they actually have the green lines, like, right along the sides of the, sides of the street. You actually would have been safer to drive on the sidewalk, assuming there is one. But again, you, the, the bike paths, they're more on the line of fire. You're more likely to get hit. You know, but the white lines are more on the outer edge. It's it, 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 kind of hard to explain, but you're probably more likely to get hit if someone's making a right turn or if somebody's making a left turn or something. But it, it, but I'm, I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense, but it, it makes sense in my head, though. But yeah, um, and I, but yeah, I had as many as 13 people checking out my stream. Oh, and this is, uh, this is without any raids either. I mean, I've had a few of those since I've been, uh, streaming pinball full time. Uh, some guy named, I think he's, to me, he's like the Daigo Umahara of pinball. Uh, pinball whiz, 43B or something like that. But sometimes he'll raid my stream with like 12 or 13 people. Um, pinballers, he's raided my stream with as many as 17 people. But no, I'm, or at least to me, I actually, uh, I actually earned these 13, 13 people. Because like I said, I, would, I didn't get raided at all today. Like, 13 people over time, they just, they just all showed up. So, I must have been doing something right. But again, having that many people on my stream, yeah, that'll motivate you. You know, it, it, you know, it isn't like, at all, it, it definitely wasn't like uh, back in, back when I was streaming Final Fantasy 14. I'd be lucky just to have one person on there. There's been times where literally no one comes on. Like, Zero, zilch. Like you're you're playing to literally nobody. So, so yeah, that'll that'll kill the motivation. You know. So yeah, that'll yeah that'll lead to a lot of a lot of short streams. Um. Please tell me though. Okay, yeah, that was street music. I was hoping that the guy didn't like turn on rap music in his car or something. I'm like, well, gotta end the video. So they got a few of these on the street. Just having like a like street party, I guess. I'm not recognizing any of these buildings. But yeah, like I said at the start of this uh, at the start of this video, I have I have uh, I have been on University Avenue at various points in my life. Can't remember which ones though, but Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, I guess uh, one other thing I was I've been doing is uh watching uh watching some rugby. Um uh, Ireland versus Wales. Uh I think the match occurred like a few months ago. So it just it just popped up in my YouTube recommendations. Um this time from a channel called Beer and a Monster Ball. I guess he's from Wales. I mean, a lot of red. 
So, but yeah, I just, just been watching that. Um. Something else I was wanting to say about it. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink of some, uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. A little redundant, Joe. I'll be, I'll be, but um, I'll be watching that throughout the night. Yeah, for those that don't know, it's my favorite sport, rugby. And um, and I, I think one of the reasons why it just, it just now occurred to me, I think one of the reasons why rugby is uh, my favorite sport, is because the United States, we suck at it. Like um. In fact, uh, I, I can't remember where I read it, but um, uh, American football was um, was a deviation from rugby. I mean, it's, as obvious as it might sound, it just like um, I guess I guess he considered rugby to do to be too brutal of a sport, so they had to tone it down and nice it up a bit and all that, and and football is what we have now. So so yeah, not and because in this country you yeah, have. Yeah, football, hockey, baseball, basketball, and because there are such dominant sports in this country, um, rugby kind of gets up, uh, kind of gets left out of the shuffle. And um, I, it should also be mentioned too that um, there is a there is a major league rugby, rugby channel, but the problem is is they don't show any uh, full blown full blown game videos. They're all highlights and clips and stuff. So. Otherwise, if they had um, if they had full-blown games, full-blown games like they do in probably every other country but you the United States, yeah, I'd be watching it. Watch me some U.S. rugby, but again, the only, the only full videos they have are of the games that occurred like years ago. They're not current. But, but like I said, Beard and Monster Ball, they um. They have current rugby video stuff that came out like, like yesterday or a week ago. So, so but yeah, but going back to what I was saying earlier, one of the reasons why rugby is my favorite sport is because uh, it's one of those sports that that the uh, U.S. of A. doesn't dominate the world in. Like, like yeah, you. Some some such country pisses us off. We'll we'll drop some nuclear bombs on them and wipe them off the map. Or so we're we're great at that, you know. Or you know we're we're great at most certainly for lack of a better word, capitalism. We're great capitalists. We'll go down there and we'll start building some WalMarts, some Disneyland, some Subway, some McDonald's, you know that kind of thing. So if we can't get you out, we'll breed you out. If that makes any sense at all so but yeah like we're like this big major superpower in the world but when it comes to rugby eh, we're, so it's nice to see something that our that our country doesn't dominate for once I mean there's lots of reasons why I like rugby but that's definitely one that comes to mind Um, but there is one other thing I want to do before I close things out. And I had just discovered this. Actually, let me, let me back up a bit. Let me back up. Um, you should be able to see this, but this is a uh, studio mode. Now, you should be able to see, um, you should be able to see two different screens here. I don't, I guess you can have uh, two different scenes up at once, but again, I don't, here on, um, on display capture, so I think the way this is supposed to work,
But yeah, like I said, I clicked... Before I actually got going on this cast, or I should say while putting this cast together, I kind of saw this. Just clicked it thinking, no, I wonder what this does. And I got two screens. So... Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna click image. And I'll just go ahead and click, um... Uh, beer and a monster ball. We'll just go with that. So, it looks like... We'll just... Okay, I still don't understand this. But, uh, this is probably gonna be some, uh... Better for me to figure out on my own time. One thing I did start doing, though... Oh, I see. Okay, so... But anyway, anyway, let me, uh... Let me get out of studio mode. One thing I did start doing, though, is, um... Uh, I fired up the, um... Uh, the OBS tutorial... That's some pretty good stuff. In fact, let me, um, let me embiggen this a little bit. Yeah, hopefully you can see it better. Uh, one thing I kind of liked, uh, control D for center to screen. So you can shrink this down some, control D, and it'll go right to the center. I started using that a ton when putting this cast together. So that helps a lot. And I. Fit. So control F would fit the screen. Ta da! And then control R will reset it. Control D centers it. Control F will make it fit the screen again. And then um Alt is another one I kinda like, although I still if I wanna if I need to crop an image, if I need to crop an image for my cat for my videos, I'd rather just use my paint program. You should be able to see it. Like if I want to say something like that. I'll have to turn it off. Okay. So, but like I said, if I want to say crop an image, like let me um, let me open up something that's big. Um. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I'd rather just do that if I wanted to crop something. But, uh, in, but if you wanted to, or if I didn't feel like firing up my paint program, you could hold down the Alt key. In fact, for Beer and a Monster Ball, that image, that's what I did. Uh, out of curiosity, I just, um, I think I took a, a full screenshot of it. No, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. I can't remember now. I'll just go ahead and say, I took a full screenshot of that, and then I held down Alt. Okay. Well, worked fine earlier. Worked fine earlier. So the only reason I could think of is uh, it wasn't uh, is the image I'm using now is full screen. So let me 
Let me go ahead and throw. Yeah, here we go. It works on this, but like I said, if for some reason, if, if you didn't want to use a paint program to crop an image, you could just do it right on OBS. And uh, the green lines, it lets you know that this image is being cropped. So, now it's a full image. Or, almost. Or you can just crop it up like that, or you can crop it up like that. But, um... I guess, uh, but throughout, maybe throughout the night or something, um, uh, maybe before I, maybe when I start working on my next cast video, start reading up on this tutorial. See if there's anything, um, maybe there's something in here I didn't already know. I mean, because most of the knowledge I know about making these videos, I didn't, I didn't rely on this, uh, tutorial for. So... A lot of it's just, I made it up as I went along. So, but, otherwise, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so. Gotta get to getting the same processed and all uploaded and stuff, so. But, otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. Until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.